better do something about this. You better do something about this because if your erections aren't up, that means your health is not good. And that means dirt naps and things that, oh, it's terrible. Hey, if you are over 40 and you're having erection issues or you have hit the wall, stay tuned because today what I'm going to talk about is what you need to do, what you need to understand so you can get over that situation. And hey, my name is Brian, aka Uncle B. And for the last 21 years, I've been a men's performance coach with African Fly to Liquid Aphrodisiac. And as a coach, I talk to guys with a lot of different ages from 25 on up to 40. And there is a pattern that happens with all men all throughout the ages. And it does happen once you're hitting around this age of 40. So let's talk about that. In particular, what I'm going to talk about is the meaning of life and how that applies to your life and your erections. And of course, stay to the end to make sure you get the tips on how to correct these issues, the things you need to know. And as always, if you like what you hear, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And what I'm going to do right now is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. Okay, let's talk about the meaning of life. What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is very simple. It's actually control. I know, you look it up in Wikipedia, they say something really weird. Here, it's very simple, and there's a reason for that. The meaning of life is control because as humans, we need to be able to control ourselves in order to control our children so they can go to become adults and they can do the same pattern, the circle of life, all that good stuff. Yeah, that's what has to happen. So when you're a baby, you don't have any control at all. When you're about two years old, you're so freaking out of control because you got so much control at once. Then about 10, 11, you're in control enough that you can be at home unsupervised. In your teens, you're gaining so much control so fast that you're out of control once again. And then your 20s, you finally got control. Your 30s, you're like, oh, wow, wow, this is a lot of control. And your 40s are like, Shh, this control is getting on my nerves. By the time you hit your 50s, you're like, what is happening to my control? And then in the 60s, you're trying to hold on to as much control as possible. <laughs> but it's all about control so that we can control ourselves and we can help with the advancement of the species. That's what you're here to do. So, how does that apply to your erections? Well, stay tuned. Because the point is you're supposed to continuously learn how to control yourself. And that goes on to the ages past when you already had your kids and they're out of the house. You have to be able to control your food. You have to control what you do. Of course, because the opposite of this is also true. If you can't control yourself, somebody else will control you for you. It's called prison. So if you don't have control of what you eat and how you're taking care of your body, you will not have control of your erections. And then it's called some drug. So let's go ahead and break this down really quick. We're gonna go into the sexual performance scale and the sexual performance scale is a scale of one to 10. 10 means everything works. One means you need to go to the hospital. Most guys are between that five, six, and seven range, but let me break it down by age because Typically, if you're 18 to 25, you're at the height of your sexual performance, you're at a 10. 25 to 30, you're going down, slipping down to an eight or a nine. 30 to 35, you're seven or an eight. And 35 to 40, that's where you hit that danger zone, that time where it's like, well, your body used to just do its own thing. It doesn't matter what you were eating or drinking, you could still get up and get to work. Now, hmm, it's not working like that. And then 45 to 50, that's when you hit the wall. It becomes harder. Well, actually, no. It becomes softer. It is harder to get it hard. See how that, see how that, see how that works? Yeah, if you're hitting the wall, things become way more difficult. And if you're hitting above 50, 50 plus 60, it's choose your own adventure. You need to exercise that control that we were talking about. Otherwise, yeah. In no control, none. So if you want your erections to have meaning, as in you can control it, then you have to exercise that level of control over your entire life. So what I need for you to do is, first of all, get over some of these thought processes that may have been slipping into your head. One of them being, this comes with age. I can get a magical pill. There's nothing I can do. Of course there is. It's too hard. Duh. So guys, it's your body, it is on you. And it is your pattern, not your age. Remember I was breaking down the ages and everything? These ages can slide and shift. So if you're between the ages of 18 and 25, you're supposed to be at a 10, but since 15, you've been pizza and Twinkies every day. And then you hit 21, 
pizza, Twinkie, and beer every day, then yeah, you're gonna hit the wall at 25. Pills will only mask the problems, and that's the big problem with pills. They're not paying attention to the pattern that you've had that's not working. All it's doing is just masking the issues that, oh, look, I have an erection while I'm eating this pizza and the beer and the Twinkies, and eventually the pill will stop working also. And here's the most important thing, you better do something about this. You better do something about this, because if your erections aren't up, that means your health is not good. And that means dirt naps and things that, oh, it's terrible. Now, when we say it's difficult, yes, you're a man. This is the way the, way, <laughs> the, way the world works. It's the way humans work. It's going to be difficult, but it actually does work. And here's the reason why. Everything that I talk about when I talk about the easiest program where we're talking about energy, sleep, exercise, intermittent fasting, and your soul, these things work regardless. So your body is pre-programmed for this. This is the pattern you need to follow. The only thing that's difficult about this is changing your mind. Your mind has been pre-programmed by society and the world to say, eat whatever you want to, go to sleep whenever you want to, you, know, you can just do whatever you want to. And of course, if you're doing whatever you want to without any level of control, yeah, no. So let's go ahead and run through the things that you need to do. First thing you need to understand is that you need to know where you are on a sexual performance scale and be honest about it. That five to seven, if you're a seven, that means things aren't working the way that you normally is sort of off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If you're a five, it takes a whole lot of stimulation for you to get an erection and to keep an erection. And you have to, of course, start changing your habits right now. You have to start looking at what are you consuming? You need to have energy going into your body, not dead stuff. You need to go to sleep, get your eight hours, quality sleep. You need to get your exercise in, not three days a week, six days a week, get it in. Of course, you need to keep your health under control and you need to avoid getting onto all these different magical pills that they have out there. So if you're using all of these techniques, then yes, it is going to work. The thing about when I say control, as you get older, you have to exercise this way more control. If you hit the wall, it becomes increasingly more difficult the longer you live to get back over that wall. So get focused, get into it right now. Once you get your habits in place, it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be much easier. So yeah, fellas, when it comes to hitting that wall, hitting that danger zone, it's time to get focused, it's time to get to work. Don't play around with this at all because it's only gonna get worse. You. You can live to 78, that's the average life, and if you're at 40, that means like, eh, what do you want? Another 38 years of no erections? Jesus H. Christ. So the question of the day for my fellas who are in that range, in that danger zone, have hit that wall, what are you doing? Have you started already taking, making some changes? Have you seen some improvement? Let me know down in the comment section. We gotta share this information. And of course, if you like what you heard, go ahead, hit that like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell so we can get some more of this information. And this is Uncle B saying get your game up. Go hard, bruh. Peace out.